10 getting underway here, stand and bang. The best of British. Here we got a 70 kilo contest. K1 rules, three three minute rounds being contested at the at the 70 kilo weight division. Uh, fighting out the red corner, wearing the black and white trunks. Uh, with a writing pinned down the side, we have William Puttock, also known as William a Princess Puttock. And his opponent also sporting the black and white trunks. Uh, fighting out the blue corner, we have Babowski Gurglai. Gurglai fighting out of Storm Jim. Storm Jim, infamous for producing many a great fighters. Among them, the man, the myth, the legend, Andrew the King Cobra Tate. Famous for his uh, supercars and feminist inspired videos the world over. As well as being a four time ISKA kickboxing champion. Back to matters at hand though, Gurgleye on the back foot here as Patek pressing forward. Yeah, that big, big swinging right hand there from uh, from Patek. Patek coming forward, but as I say, he's walking into the shots here of Gurgleye, oh, jumping knee there. Again, the rules here, we're fighting under a K1 rule set, so there won't be an awful lot going on in clinch work again here. One shot, release, separate the fighters, go again. Oh, that sloppy punch there from Gurgleye, just dropping his head down and leaving himself unprotected on the uh, left-hand side. Nice knee though, that right knee just finding the midsection of Puttock. Well, Puttock looks like he might have been hurt there. And I think Gurgleye can sense that he's moving in for the kill. I'm not sure whether the referee missed that or not, but Puttock literally, it looks like he's been winded and he's struggling to recover. Gurgleye smelling blood, he's going in for the finish here. Puttock is in trouble, he's going to take account for that. Yeah, it was a body shot. I'm not sure if it was a knee or a punch to the body there. I missed it, but literally you could see the look on Puttock's face. He was in trouble now. Is that going to be enough time for him to recover? I don't know. You have that interest. It looks like he's in trouble. He doesn't look like he's fully recovered from it. He's holding on, but Gurgleye's charging forward. He wants to finish that knee to the head there. Puttock's in serious, serious trouble here. Gurgleye's plying on the pressure. And Puttock's taking more knocks to the front door right now. He's going to catch himself another count shortly if he's not careful. This young fighter, Gurgleye from Storm Jim, really putting on a masterclass here. He's just teeing off at will. Puttock's in serious trouble. And he's, he's, really, he's really aiming just to keep chipping away, chipping away at that body, those knees. All to that same shot over and over again. Wants to be careful he doesn't punch himself out. There's only a few seconds left of the round. Nice one-two cross there. But the end of that round could not have come quick enough for William Puttock. Really amazing first round there from Babelchik, Gurgley, and he's and Puttock is going to take a count. <laughs> round two now is going to get underway of the tenth bout of the evening. We're going to see if William Puttock is going to be able to do anything to come back from what was a really difficult first round and a super, super stellar performance so far from Gurgley. Gurgley wasting no time till he comes flying straight out of the blocks and he's just laying the pressure on to, to William Puttock. Here, Puttock on the back foot again here. All that knee narrowly missing the head there, the upper body a hit. Isn't that sort of chest plate? I say Gurgley wants to be careful, but he doesn't overspend himself and leave himself vulnerable. We've seen that happen a lot. Nice. You can hear the crowd there getting behind William Puttock. That's the first decisive shot that he's managed to really land so far. Let's see if he can build a little bit of momentum there. Hey, Gurgley doesn't really seem to be showing much, much in the way of slowing down. Today, obviously in great shape here to be this deep into the second round and still just applying the pressure, pushing forward.
And Gurgley landed that knee to that same, that same, that same spot that looked tender earlier. For Puttick, and again, and again, a little bit of no, a little blood now starting to appear from the nose of Puttick. Puttick taking deep breaths. He looks like he's feeling it. I think uh, the referee's going to give them both a bit of a warning for the volume of strikes that are taking place in the clinch. Again, back to the uh, the slight differences between a Muay Thai and the K1 rule set. Oh, solid right cross there landed by Gurgley. And again, flurry of punches there has Puttick reeling back into the blue corner. And Gurgley just pushing forward. Puttick's doing really well to weather this storm because it has been relentless from start to finish. There's a mark on Gurgley. Yeah, and Puttick's going to really want to start defending himself here. If he does, oh, nice catch and sweep there. Second round's coming to an end. It's been a really strong round again for Gurgley. Puttick's not really answering back a great deal here. Even the punches you're throwing don't seem to have any real snap behind them. Round three now getting underway of what has been a, a fairly one-sided fight dominated by Baboski Gurgley representing Storm Jim fighting out of the blue corner. I say Puttick's taken a couple of counts and he had a very difficult second round. Lands a nice strong low kick there. Starting to attack the leg of Gurgley. Puttick now moving forward with a couple of good punches landing through here. Is it anything he can build on though? It could just be just a just just as I say, the end game is so far away unless he pulls out a really big shot and manages to end the fight here. He needs to do I don't even think a 10-8 round could win this for him. He really needs to find that one big shot to put his opponent away. I think that's about his only chance of winning here. But you never rule him out. Everyone's got a puncher's chance in this game. <coughs> Hey, Gurgley, every time he gets into that clinch, pulling the head down and going for that, that knee to the head, not quite finding the mark, but looking dangerously close. So, so, so many times. Nice uppercut there by Gurgley. Puttock trying to answer back with something, but just looking really tired and scrappy at this point. Literally just trying to hold in there. Like a warrior, to be fair, like he's not giving up. He's just, he's doing the best he can given the situation. He's holding on for dear life, really. He's going to see this fight through. But he's being knocked around from pillar to post here. He looks absolutely exhausted. Both of these guys are slowing down. Let's say Puttock has been under relentless, relentless barrage of, uh, of kickboxing abuse from Gurgley. Say the gum shield starting to uh, protrude out of the mouth there of Gurgley. Let's say by this point in the game, even he's even he's starting to feel the effects of the fight and the fatigue is starting to set in. Yeah, a bit of a bit of a token gesture there for Putting this round, but the crowd are certainly behind him. I say he's held in there from start to finish. He's got back up. He's not complained. He's kept. He's stayed in the fight as best he can, but for me, he's just been outclassed. He's been outclassed by the Storm Gym fighter. Great fight. I feel that's probably going to be a unanimous decision. 
for the blue corner. But as I say, it's in the judges' hands. We will wait and see. And at the end of those three action-packed rounds, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favour of your winner fighting out of the blue corner.